Hello, you're on the air. Have you got a question? Yes, I do. I'd like to uh, respond to the gentleman's statement that uh, his book of doctrine is older than the Bible. Okay. One thing I want to make sure that the audience understands and that this gentleman understands is that the Holy Scriptures was given directly from God and that all other religious doctrines and books are derivations and, and changes from those original scriptures. And uh, it's all of the other religious systems in the world are based on a system of works. And uh, John 10, 6 says in the Bible that uh, Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no man comes to the Father but through me. And uh, I'd like to hear what his response is. Well, you ought to learn what the original... Hang on a second. Hang uh, on. i got a response for you. Yeah. First of all, you should learn what it originally, the Bible, uh, was in Greek. And it says, No man cometh unto the Father except through one who was of the Father. Now, that's been changed and translated into through me. As far as what you said about works go, we don't believe that a man can approach the kingdom of God through works alone. He has to have the divine mercy of God. As far as your statement about this, the Bible being the oldest book in the world, then you ought to go to a comparative religion class in any major universe in the world, and they'll tell you that the Vedic literatures predate the Bible by thousands of years. Uh, I, I would gather you run into a good deal of, of uh, intolerance. Yes, we do. Uh, I mean, basically, what I would say to this type of a person is that, all right, now, let's see what you're actually doing. Let's see your lifestyle. Are you devoted to God in your activities? In other words, one of the symptoms of someone actually being a follower of God is that they serve God with their heart and their soul. So I invite everybody to come down to our temple. You know, we have a temple here in Houston. And let them personally observe the lifestyle of the people who live there and see how devoted they are to God. What is your tolerance level for other religions, uh, for Buddhism, Hindu, uh, Islam, Christianity, Judaism? We, we see that all religions, bona fide religions, I don't mean, I would agree with this gentleman, I don't appreciate these cults that have sprung up and, mm -hmm. you know, calling themselves religions, but any genuine religion which is based on a bona fide scripture is ultimately bringing someone to the point of love mm -hmm. of God. Now we have to see what, you know, what religion can bring you most quickly and most perfectly to that platform of love of God. And love of God means that you become more attracted to serving God than to simply serving your senses. That's why I say that, you know, that's, well, he's sp speaking very nicely, but let us see in his own personal life how much he's actually doing everything for God. When he, if he lights up a cigarette, can he say that I'm doing this for Jesus Christ? I doubt it. He may, and I doubt it. Okay. Hello, you